So I hear, I hear Justin Peck's gonna be here today. Yeah, the, the legend, the legend himself. The wing guys yeah. coming to hang out. That's cool. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, probably won't be around the race cars a whole lot tonight because, well, I'm running double duty. So kind of back and forth, and they only have two classes, so that keeps just real busy. Back in the track, they just blew the horn, and I think I drew like a 71. So shame on me for drawing bad. Uh, so much of this is the luck of the draw, and just the luck of who's in your heat race, you know, the luck of when, when you go out on the track, you know, cause that might be a good draw, you know, if the track is greasy early and then comes in, you know, so, but typically the track's going away, but it is the first day of fall. So the weather is changing and it's cooler out today. Uh, people are wearing hoodies. So hopefully my number is good. <laughs> Just got done with qualifying. Oh, back to the sprint car. <laughs> Grab this, this, and this, and time to go. That's why I have my, my Hans on. This is all I need is a helmet and a Hans. I got two sets of gloves and two sets of head socks to try to help out. <laughs> I don't know. We were second to last to go out. Track's going away, so uh, hats off to Timez for drawing light as always. and I, I really thought I was climbing a tire because he was he was headed right towards me and thank you Robert Blue he got out of the gas and stopped the car um, I'm sure he knew that it was gonna be it was gonna crash us both um, and that that just 
So got through the heat race, uh, fell back to fifth. Um, got my way back by X, and we weren't that good, you know, on the top. It was right around the bottom. I could kind of get the right rear to stick. So uh, they're going to make some changes, but uh, I got to go back over here to the midget. And uh, it looks like got the one wheel here. Not that I need it, but I don't need to forget it over here. Go find out what heat we're in in the midget and continue on. Double duty is kind of tough, man. You're just, as soon as you get out of the car, talk to your guys, you're, you're running over to the next car. So normally, I would put these back on, just kind of clean them up and put it back on. But I have a whole night on these already, and they got some dirt up underneath it. So rubbing on the shield, it just kind of, man, your vision is everything. So we're USAC racing. I got two cars to run tonight. I need to be on my best game. So uh, as much as I hate to do it, I'll use those on a local night and just put my best option for the best vision I can have.
of the year for me, attitude-wise and performance in the car. I just overdrive the car once I lose my composure, and it's so easy to do with three inches of pedal and 900 horsepower on a slick gas city, but doing these videos is really helping me see when I'm having a bad day, when I'm having a bad uh, drive on the racetrack. So, thanks for watching Team STV. I'm growing as I go, living my best life, trying to be in a positive mood. This is a poor production of that, but it is what it is. You gotta take the good days with the bad days. Thanks for watching Team STV. through all my camera equipment after the night so my reverse facing camera my back bumper camera and these are my two forward facing cameras here so I like to run this clamp here it's pretty sweet uh, it's a double hinge but uh, ah, not tonight we were wanting really ah, I just I've won uh, so many races here, and every time I come here for USEC shows, we're like a mid-pack car. It's just depressing, and I put so much pressure on myself to do good here, and it doesn't help. But you can't change your mood, and uh, you know sometimes coming to the racetrack, it's stressful. You know we're we're risking our lives to do what we love to do to put on a show for you guys. You know, um, and I love this. I wouldn't do anything but this. But you know sometimes it does. I race 100 times a year. Double duty is tough because I can't give the proper amount of time and feedback that I need to to my guys. I mean, period. My sprint car would have been better if I could have, you know, kept up with what they were doing and <clears throat> and maybe gave them some input. And the midget was good. You know, we just we should have softened the car up and I stiffened it up. You know, so hey, thanks again for watching TMS TV. Gas City was not good to me. But as always, we got good footage, and I'm living my best life here at the racetrack, even even when it's stressful. So, thanks again for watching Team Ez TV. I'm Team Ez. I'm out.